Why, hello there. <laughs> I'm Ryan Rafels. And I'm Johnny. And welcome to Ryan Rafels' epic, amazing show, episode number nine. We got the camera rolling. We got the microphone so sensually centered between us. And we're ready to get started. <laughs> At least I am. Oh. <laughs> I hope you are too. Oh, I'm always ready. I'm always ready to. Call me Little Caesars. Hot and ready. All right. <laughs> well, first off, today we're going to go into some adult beverage reviews. Now, we know that you're always looking for more ways to bring more class and sophistication into your life. So, we're going to take a look at some of the best adult beverages on the market to really spruce things up for you and keep you living life. Classy. Living like Larry. Living like Larry. Alright, so our first beverage for today is going to be this one over here. This is uh, Extra Virgin Olive Oil Non-Stick Cooking Spray. Now this one I think is one of Johnny's favorites. I mean, I like it a lot myself too, but um, really, you know, it's getting in like your, um, what's an olive, a fruit? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> It's not a vegetable. Uh, no. Uh, you're getting in your daily serving of olives and oils. Um, and the taste, I mean, really, it's fantastic. I know you love the taste of olives. Oh, I love it so much. It's so good. You can just, like, sip on this all day. And it's all a, day. All day. And it's a, in a convenient container, so you can just shoot it right in. Shoot it right in. <laughs> I think I'll have some right now. It's like canned cheese. <coughs> <coughs> That was great. Delicioso. 10 out of 10. This is my favorite. Um, <laughs> so that was our first one. <laughs> and uh, our second one is um, Ortho Home Defense. Now, the flavor of this one can be described in so many ways. Um, earthy. A little, um, a little bitter. You get some bitter notes. Um, yeah, uh, this one's good, um, you know, best for a dinner party, I think. I think so. Or, um, lounging by the pool. Yeah. Would be the best time to pour yourself a glass of this. Um, and I kill, I, I like to serve it on a tray and, you know, bring it out on, like, lots of little cups to serve to my guests. And it's a favorite all around. It's, uh, it's really killer, I think. <laughs> so, great. And our next drink is uh, this bleach. This is a Clorox splashless bleach. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So you don't have to worry about this one making a mess when you're pouring it. And you know, I just, I sip on this stuff all day. I'm one of those, I'm like one of those gym guys. I just carry around the whole jug with me everywhere I go. Um, our next one here, um, this is a... Um, another fruit flavored um this is all-purpose lemonade <laughs> um and really like it's an all-purpose it's good for everything uh bar mitzvahs bar mitzvahs yeah that was good that one's good yeah um really you know anything like you know you're having a large party type thing with a large group of people and you know this is great to pour in like one of those big coolers and dispense it to everybody so, um, this is, it's lemony fresh. And it's, when I tell you, like, real lemon flavor, delicious. Absolutely delicious. It really helps clean your insides. It does. It does. Citrus clean. Citrus clean. Smells good on the way out, too. Um, and our next one is this Zippo Premium Lighter Fluid. Now, this, I keep, I keep blocking them. This is premium, Okay. When I tell you premium, okay, this is like when you're meeting the in-laws for the first time. You know, you're bringing her parents over for dinner and you want to impress them. Premium. It's fire. Lights up the night. This is mm, delicioso. And our next one. Old English. Helps protect wood surfaces. Again, this one's lemon flavored. Um... And it'll protect your wood, which is, I think, that's something a, a lot of us really look for. I know I look for in a beverage. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the old English. Helps keep your wood looking nice and fresh. <laughs> nice and, and healthy. fresh. Healthy and strong and firm. Now, as you can see, the English people have been using this for years. Because um, it's old English. So, it's tried and true and trusted and proven. And our very last one, well, I just love lemon, I guess. Um, it's this uh, Rocket Pure Natural Foot and Shoe Deodorizer Spray. Um, and it is lemon and sweet orange peel oils. So this is a combination of citrus. Um, and when I tell you it keeps things fresh, so this is like, you know, if you're, um, if you're going for a job interview and you're trying to make a good impression, you just, uh, you know, and, uh, fresh breath for ages. I tell you, this stuff is good. This stuff is good. Yep. All right. And always remember that, uh, you know, um, this is not for human consumption. So, <laughs> we're alien. I don't consider myself a human. Um, no. So, this is why I really enjoy these year-round. Year-round. All right, we're going to go to a quick commercial break right now. And um, stay put, stay hydrated, and we'll see you soon. Hello, fellow humans of the Earth. This is no ordinary onion. It places the onion in its lap, or else I'll put a rat inside his hat. Okay. You may remember, the last time I held an onion, I had a stroke. But not this time. This is no ordinary onion. This is the Onion Mark IV protective system. Infused with multiple anticoagulant drugs, I will never again have a stroke while holding an onion. Some features of this onion include high impact reactive armor, atmospheric contaminant sensors, vital sign monitors, automatic medical systems, defensive weapon selection systems, munition level monitoring, and onboard communication systems. This is the last onion you will ever need. Starting at a mere 25 Bitcoin, <laughs> you can only buy this onion if you're of the elite. We have up to 45 more features than those of other onions. That much I can guarantee. And studies show that over 100% of people who buy this onion have up to 100% more onions per metric micromile than the competition. This onion is so powerful that it replaced my jaw with a fancy ballroom and a thousand dollars. Don't look under the mask, just trust me bro. If you don't have any Bitcoin, we're also willing to accept payment in the form of bottle caps, ammunition, and apple juice boxes. I would also like to state that this is absolutely not a money laundering operation by Valve, Fawcett, and Spigot companies. And they are absolutely not planning global domination. Luxury onions. Buy it, dummy. Welcome back, folks. And now, let's go over to News A Lot with our news stories for the day. Johnny? Our first news story of the day is... Man screams, That dumbass took it! While frantically searching through bag in local fast food restaurant with his crackhead friends. Local man, Mike Hawk, was seen at the local Kurger Bing last Tuesday, rummaging through a purse that may or may not have belonged to him or his friends. The ferocious digging amongst the trio resulted in a pair of sunglasses, some lipstick, and a deck of playing cards being scattered across the the establishment's freshly cleaned floors. Whether or not they were trying to play 52 card pickup remains unclear. After several grueling minutes of this odd behavior, Mr. Hawk loudly exclaimed, That dumbass took it! No one is sure what or who he was referring to, although the several concerned employees and onlookers can assume it was likely nothing important. Hmm. It really makes you wonder, you know, if the dumbass actually did take it or not. And what did they take? Who knows? Who knows? Crackheads. All right, and our next story for the day. 
Arizona man Dixon Butts not running for anything. A Gilbert, Arizona man with zero political experience is making waves with his campaign, which reads, Not running for anything, just wanted to make a sign. Mr. Butt's website boasts his outstanding credentials, which includes zero experience in politics, 180 pounds, blood pressure 160 over 110, and can probably run a mile but would rather walk. Mr. Butts is using his impressive attributes to distribute signs around the Gilbert area in support of his worthy cause. Many people, <clears throat> including ourselves, are behind him. And as he has reassured his followers, he will be behind you. You can find more information about the campaign and support the cause at DixonButts.com. Remember, America needs Dixon Butts. All right, now let's go over to another commercial break for today here, and we will be right back with you for something extra special. <laughs> Toodaloo. I sell chairs. Some like these. Some like these. Some like these. Some of them are wood. Some of them are metal. Some of them are leather. Some of them are bouncy, but they all got one thing in common. They're all chairs. I'm selling chairs. You're buying chairs. Buy my chairs, mo- Hello. I'm therapist Bob O'Larry. You may have seen me before on my therapy show, which I host right here. Join us this week as we talk about my coping method for those difficult people in your life, temporary relocating. In temporary relocating, I'll teach you how to take the troublesome person in your life, lightly restrain them, and place them in another room for 24 to 48 hours where you can mentally heal. Namaste. We're back, and we're angry. We're really angry, and you want to know why? Because this stuff's pissing us off. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. What are you supposed to do with this? It's got some innocent cartoon characters on it. What are you supposed to do? Is this for fashion or BDSM? I can't tell anymore. Out of here. God damn it. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look, it squeaks. Who the hell wants to hear this all goddamn day? That is annoying. That is really annoying. Really annoying. Look at this piece of wood. I have seen much more impressive wood in my life. Look at this. It's got a slot. What are you even supposed to do with that? Isn't that supposed to be the other way around? And look at this shape. What are you supposed to do with this? A rectangle. What am I supposed to maybe I'm Maybe I'm making a puzzle. Gonna fit the piece in. Better hope it's the right size, because it usually isn't. <coughs> Outta here. Look at this! Is this supposed to be cute? This infuriates me! Disgusting. Gah. Look at this. Do pigs go- Have you ever seen a pig surfing before? <laughs> Look at the Oh, Calabunga, dude! <laughs> oink, oink! Was it supposed to be like the Ninja Turtles with pigs? Come on. Get out of here. Look, we- <laughs> Surfing pig. Come on. Gah. Out of here. Look at this! Look at this pen! It doesn't even work! Is this supposed to be for kids? <laughs> I can't believe this. Look at this. I hate what is this? Some sort of a handle? A mini skate ramp? What oh my god. <laughs> what is this even supposed to be? What am I supposed to do with this? What is it does it tell me to get a grip? Does it think I can get a handle on life that easily? I don't think so. I don't think so. Look at this empty sriracha packet. There's nothing in here. Why would you give somebody an empty sriracha packet? What the hell? <sighs> look at this. A box of tissues. But look at this. What do you think? Is this going to be like, oh, put this on your desk. It's soothing. It's going to make you feel like you're in the great outdoors. Well, yeah, this piece of cardboard with this generic printing on it is really supposed to make me feel like I'm in the great wide open. Let me take a breath of fresh air while I breathe in this 
nasty, dirty air filter air from my cubicle in my cramped office. <laughs> infuriating. Absolutely infuriating. Oh, we're getting crazy now. <laughs> Look at this crazy glue. Looks oh, I'm real. I was crazy to begin with. Like oh, do, do you feel any crazier? I don't think so. No more than usual. Because we're stuck on this plane of human existence, and we live in a society. <laughs> God. <sighs> Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. All right. Well, with that, we're going to bid you adieu. And um, we hope you can really go out there and find some calm and serenity. And um, I really hope that we've calmed you down and um, really made you feel at peace and at home tonight. And um, go ahead and get yourself a good night's sleep. You deserve it. Alrighty. Good night.